Hello and welcome to Iceco Scientific. This is a very informal technical support video to show how to jump start a hand crank bandograph that doesn't seem to want to fire. A couple of things to point out first, this is our PH0918A model. Um, out of the box, a couple of things I recommend doing is cleaning the dome with rubbing alcohol. Also cleaning the back side of the belt quickly with rubbing alcohol. You can just put the rubbing alcohol on a Kleenex and drag it back there while you crank the vandegraaff. Third thing is to clean the rollers. The rollers are a key part of the apparatus. There's two rollers, one here, one up in the dome. The rollers, once they begin to turn on the Van de Graaff, one collects positive charge, one collects negative charge. This is important because <clears throat> after a Van de Graaff ships or sits for a long period of time or has dramatic temperature change, the rollers will tend to discharge until they're at neutral. Once they're at neutral, that can lead to having a hard time firing up your Van de Graaff. So later in this video, I'll discuss how to basically jumpstart that Van de Graaff. You'll notice that I have a basic banana plug cord plugged to the bottom of the unit right here. And I plugged to the other side of the discharge wand up here. This is just to ensure very secure grounding so that we get a fire a little bit quicker. It's just a standard banana plug. One thing you can do is if you're having issue getting it to fire is to actually rub wool or silk across the roller and what that'll do is basically induce a charge on that roller that's opposite from the other roller and kind of jump start the Van de Graaff. So the next thing I'm going to do is position the discharge wand very close to the Van de Graaff up here. And the reason you need the discharge wand close to the top of the Van de Graaff is this helps draw the current from the rollers to the belt to the dome and then arc between the discharge wand and the Van de Graaff. Since this Van de Graaff was at a very cold temperature, it's about 58 degrees in here right now and the relative humidity is about 45%, you'll st it'll start very, very close and you'll only hear the spark. So after you hear the spark, you can slowly start to pull the Van de Graaff away and you'll generate more arc, more electrostatic charge, but it takes time to build on the rollers and that's what you'll see in the rest of this video. So I can hear just a little bit of spark can't see it yet. Okay, now I hear it consistently, so I'm going to move it away just a little bit. Okay, now we're starting to see a little bit of an arc, and the charge is building up on the dome and is working well through the rollers. I'm going to move it just a little bit farther away. And it'll take some more spinning, but there you can see we have about a one inch arc, which I would estimate at this humidity to be about 150,000 volts. And if you have a really presumptuous student, you can make them wind it even faster and pull the Van de Graaff away even further. But you can see this Van de Graaff is functioning quite well now, coming straight out of stock from a very cold position. If you have any further questions, please let me know. My name is Ben Pearson. That's ben.pearson at icegolabs.com. That's B-E-N dot P-E-A-R-S-O-N at e-i-s-c-o-l-a-b-s dot com. I'd be more than happy to help. Have a good day and take care.